Hello crafty friends, it's Alicia of the Call Me Crafty Owl YouTube channel and in today's video I'm going to be sharing with you how I turn these die cut stickers into cute watercolor cards. Thank you so much for stopping by. If this is your first time to my channel, I hope by the end of this video that you'll be inspired to click on that subscribe button below and maybe even tap on that bell for notifications. If you're already a subscriber and regular viewer, welcome back. I'm glad that you've stopped by again. Last weekend, as I was perusing the paper crafting section at Hobby Lobby, I found this adorable package of die cut stickers. What you see in front of you is just one third of the package. These are from Stickabilities, which is a paper studio brand. And in this package, you get three of each of the eight designs. Once I saw these, I knew that I wanted them to be a focal point on a card. And because you can kind of see in their outfits, it looks a little watercolored. I thought I would try to bust out some watercolor paints to make a little background for them. Let's go ahead and take a look at some of the supplies that I'll be using today. And here is a look at most of what I will be using today. If I do add anything later, I'll make sure to let you know. Of course, I'll be using the cardstock stickers. For my papers, I've already pre-cut, scored, and folded eight white A2 card bases. I have eight pieces of black cardstock that measure three and three eighths by four and six eighths inches. And I have eight pieces of Bristol Smooth Heavyweight paper that measures three and a quarter by four and a half. Here is a look at the pad I buy. I think I got this at Michael's or Hobby Lobby. It is nice and smooth and takes lots of different medias very nicely. For my watercoloring on there, I will be using this set of metallic watercolors. This is actually my daughter's. She found it at Tuesday morning one time and she thought they smelled bad. She was gonna throw it away. So I went ahead and inherited this. I will be using this green this pink and this blue. To do my water coloring, I got out just a watercolor brush. This one is pretty wide. Not sure why I chose it, but I don't do this much and I thought wider might be better. I will be stamping my sentiments, which I will be using this Momenta stamp set. This is also from Hobby Lobby. This is regularly $3, so with my 40% off coupon, you can tell how good a deal this was. I just like kind of the scripty kind of fonts. It looks like you could have created those with a brush. I will be stamping those in Versamark and then heat embossing them with detail white embossing powder and I'll just be doing that on some black cardstock scraps I had left from cutting these pieces. My plan is to die cut the sentiments with this die using the inner part of that and then finally for now I will be using the Park Lane Diagonal Stripe Embossing Folder from Joanne. As I get into the process of this video, I will go to a voiceover. If I leave you with any questions, as always, make sure to leave those in the comment section below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Let's get crafty. So my watercolor pieces would have time to dry. I decided to start with that today. I am using a ruler here to draw a pencil line about an inch from the right of each piece. I will use this later as a guide for where I paint and where I place my stickers. The watercoloring on these cards was super simple and basic. I just got my watercolor wet and then you'll see there I followed the pencil line that I had created and then blended that out from left to right. I just wanted a little bit to be seen from each side once the sticker was placed on top. I continued this same process for all eight of the cards, switching between the green, pink, and blue. Once those were all done, I set them to the side to dry and then I got out my stamping stuff. 
Off camera, I got out a couple more sentiment stamps that were on wood blocks. I thought these sentiments went nicely with the cards. You'll see there that I used my embossing buddy on my black cardstock before I put on the powder and heated it. And in just a little bit, you're going to see why you should always use your embossing buddy. On the second one, I forgot, and it kind of messed up, so I had to redo that one. I then just continued the same process until I had eight sentiments stamped and embossed on that black cardstock. Next it was time to do the die cutting. I got out a piece of the scotch removable tape that I had been saving and the good thing about this tape is that you can use it for quite a while. I had already die cut, it had been sitting on my shelf and then I was able to use it to hold the die in place for all eight of these sentiments. While I had my cuddle bug out I went ahead and embossed all of the card fronts. Since I will only be embossing the front, I placed my folded card in there and I lined up the fold or the scored line with the very bottom of the pattern on the inside of the embossing folder. If you have these, it will make more sense, but that way I just embossed to the line. If it went over a little bit, it wasn't a big deal. By this time, all of my watercolored pieces were dry, so it was time to start putting those cards together. The first thing I did was adhere the watercolor piece to the black mat and I did put some extra adhesive on the back just because the watercolor, if it did warp that white paper any, that it would stick down nice and flat to the black. Once that piece had been matted, then I adhered it flat down onto each of the card fronts. To add some dimension to the card, I decided to place my stickers on the front using foam tape. Because the back of these stickers are of course sticky and I want to keep them from pressing down and flattening out on the card front, I got out my embossing buddy and used the powder from that to take away the stickiness from the back of the die cut. Then I pulled my release paper and placed that right over that pencil line on the card front. The next thing I did was adhere my sentiments to the card fronts. Because these will go over the sticker, I used the same foam tape, just a couple pieces on each side of the sentiment, placed that where I wanted it, and then I trimmed off the end that stuck off the front of the card. I continued this same process for the other seven cards. Once I had them all put together, I decided that I needed a little bling. So I got out my enamel dots collection and I chose some for each card that I thought matched the image. Then I placed three onto each card front to finish those off. And here's a look at all of the finished cards. I hope you enjoyed getting to see how I made these cards. I do have to say that every once in a while I kind of surprise myself. I knew that these stickers were going to make adorable cards, but I have to say I am in love with these. I love how quick and easy they were. I just did a little water coloring and then some cutting really. If you would like to make some cards similar for yourself, I do have a little giveaway for you. I will be sending one of each of the girls to one subscriber. To enter this giveaway, all the way in the bottom of my description box below is a link to an unlisted video. Go there and I will tell you how you can enter to win. 
If you enjoyed getting to see how I made these cards today, as always, I appreciate a thumbs up. Until my next video, I hope you're all having a crafty day. Bye-bye. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch all the way to the end of the video. I hope that you'll consider clicking on one of the videos or playlists I have linked above. And if you're interested in any of the products or tools that I use in the video, I do have some links in the description box.